Hey designers, let's jump into creating this logo animation in After Effects. I'll guide you through each step. So, let's get started. First, grab the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Make sure the anchor point is centered. To do that quickly, hold Ctrl on your keyboard and double-click the anchor point tool. Next, we don't want any fill, just a stroke. Remove the fill and give the circle a red stroke, or choose any color you like. Adjust the stroke width to your preference. Afterward, align the circle both vertically and horizontally in your composition. Now, we're going to create another shape using the polygon tool. Make sure no layers are selected, or the shape will act as a mask. Draw a rectangle and give it a white fill with no stroke. Perfect. Once done, align the rectangle vertically and horizontally inside the composition. Let's make this triangle a bit bigger by scaling it up. Once that's done, we're going to make both of these layers 3D. Make sure Cinema 4D is selected as the render option. After that, head over to the properties and look for geometry options. In there, you'll see the extrusion depth option. Let's increase the extrusion depth to about 120%. Now, select the other layer and repeat the process, go to the geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. Next, we're going to parent the rectangle to the circle. To do this, grab the pick whip from the rectangle layer and parent it to the circle layer. Create a light layer. Right click anywhere, go to new, and select light. Choose point light, and set the color to white. Once you have that, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the light. We'll change the position of these lights, place one at the top right of the composition, and the other at the bottom left. Let's focus on animating the circle layer. Since the rectangle is parented to it, the rectangle will follow along. Select the circle layer, then press R for rotation and hold Shift plus S to bring up the scale property. We're going to animate both the scale and the rotation. Click on the stopwatch next to scale, then also click the stopwatches next to X rotation and Y rotation. Now, let's move 20 frames forward. The shortcut for moving 10 frames forward is Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow, so press it twice. Here, change the X rotation. Now, change the Y rotation as well. After that, move another 20 frames forward and adjust the X rotation and Y rotation values again. Now, go back to the first frame and set the scale to zero. Then, on the second frame, make the scale 100%. Preview the animation to check if it looks good. Next, let's create a camera layer. Right-click, go to New, and select Camera. Once you have the camera layer, we'll animate its position. Select the camera layer and press P for position. Move the bar indicator to the point where you want the camera animation to begin. Click on the stopwatch next to position. Then, move the bar indicator a few frames forward and adjust the camera position. Whether you want it closer, further away, or tilted on the X or Y axis, it's entirely up to you. Tweak these values on both keyframes until it's just right. Once you're happy with the camera values, go ahead and preview the animation. If you notice any issues, feel free to adjust the values or add more keyframes. Then preview it again. When everything looks good with the camera settings, it's time to refine the animation further. 
Select the first two keyframes of the shape layer and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Head over to the graph editor to fine tune the motion. If you can't see the graph values, right click and select Speed Graph. Adjust the graph as shown in the video. Once you've adjusted the graph, go back and preview the animation again. And with that, your animation is complete. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Design.